Good morning and welcome to BTV, where we cover news for the students, by the students. I'm Gabriel Guerra. And I'm Emily Ziege, here with Becton's January Monthly News Report. Happy New Year, everyone. This new year might have felt a bit different as many of us stayed inside with family to stay safe from COVID. But as many of you know, vaccines have already begun to be administered and will continue to be given out until we beat this virus together. Speaking of together, this past December before break, Becton students and administration thanked all teachers for their work during this pandemic. On the last day before break, Dr. Forza announced that all teachers and staff would be recognized for their creativity, hard work, and dedication to our students. January 20th marks the presidential inauguration. After a recent attack on Capitol Hill, Biden is still planning on being sworn in on the steps of the U.S. Capitol. Biden and his administration are hoping that the inauguration will draw attention toward the importance of national unity. Speaking of unity, the National Honor Society and peer leaders are working as a team to put together this year's Big Impact Project. Their plan is to put floral arrangements together for local senior citizens in our community to brighten their day. Well, on that bright note, this month also marks the beginning of winter sports. All athletes involved in wrestling, basketball, bowling, and volleyball will have an opportunity to show off their skills this winter. Well, Gabe, just getting to practice in the winter requires some good weather. Let's see how this month's weather is shaping up. Thanks, Gabe and Emily. Winter can be a tricky month with weather, but so far we've been pretty lucky. The cold winter chill has started to really settle this week in the 40s, and then temperatures dropping to the 30s next week. But with that drop in temperature, we still have that sun shining, which is better than rain or snow. Well, that's going to do it for this month's weather report. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Nihar. This month, we welcome two new board members, Emily Lindolfi and Jason Bolger. Speaking of new, this month's teacher feature highlights our new science teacher, Ms. Colosso, and student of the month, Michelle Ballowender. Hello, Becton, and welcome to this month's teacher feature. I, Jarrell, and two other students, Devin and Carlos, will be interviewing our newest biology teacher, Mrs. Colasso. So to start off, we would like to know, when did you decide to become a teacher? So I decided to become a teacher at the end of my career in high school. I had really great experiences all throughout high school in my science classes. I was involved in a lot of science related clubs and organizations. So that's when I decided to want to be a teacher. I then went on to college to pursue that and fell more in love with the profession as I took on roles as tutor, learning assistant, teaching assistant, um, and exploring more topics in science. So it really encouraged me to become a teacher. That's actually very interesting because I know a lot of people as they grow up, they want to change what they want to be as an adult. So my question is going to be, what inspired you to teach science? I would say what really inspires me to be in this career is science itself. I really just have a passion for exploring it. Um, I love that it's all within us and around us and we can study it. It's part of our everyday life. So my next question is going to be, if you could teach any other class, which one would it be? There are so many classes I would teach. Um, just because I love teaching and there's so many topics in science that we could cover. I would love to teach in anatomy and physiology because my undergrad degree is in exercise science. So I study the human body and how it works a lot. Um, and I always found that very fascinating. So I would love to teach that. I also have a strong passion for environmental science. So I would teach that as well. Now, what advice do you have for the freshman entering high school for the first time? My first piece of advice for freshmen is to get involved. Uh, Becton is filled with so many opportunities for you to find and explore your passions to make the most of your experience here. I advise you to really just capture the moments here at Becton. Um, really have fun, take pictures, take videos, make TikToks, whatever you can to just have these memories and always have them to look back on. Thank you, Ms. Colossal, for being a great guest. Thank you everyone who has taken their time out of their day to watch this interview. Until next time on the Teacher Feature.
It gives me great pleasure to announce January's Student of the Month, Michelle Balowender. Michelle is an extremely talented young woman with a wide range of talents, who is open-minded, outgoing, friendly, and extremely trustworthy. Michelle incorporates an immense amount of time and energy into many of Becton's activities and courses. She is captain of the tennis team, secretary to our National Honor Society, and has been in a variety of clubs. From a young age, Michelle has exhibited a passion for learning and has achieved tremendous success. She understands her surroundings and is looking to get into a profession that will have a meaningful impact on our society. Michelle is one of the best here at Beckton Regional High School and has contributed to some of the best courses that we have to offer. I know she will contribute tremendously to the academic excellence of the college and or university she chooses to attend. She has the ability, the desire, and the maturity necessary to succeed. Congratulations to Michelle Bellowender for being January's 2021 Student of the Month. So Emily, I'm sure you participated in December Spirit Month. I sure did. I had a great time dressing up for every day's theme. We had Yin Yang Day, Fuzzy Sock Day, Athletic Wear Day, and Formal Wear Day. But who can forget everyone's favorite, Ugly Sweater Day? Wow, that's my favorite. Some of our teachers and students had such a great attire. But did you know every month, including January, has a bunch of wacky holidays that I bet you didn't even know about? Let's see if you can guess a few of these wacky holidays with these clues. Okay, spaghetti day, bird day, chocolate day, tea day, rubber ducky, paying costume, Martin Luther King Jr. day, and I think I need to see that one more time. <laughs> I'm sure if we saw the video one more time, you'd know all of them. For a list of all the wacky holidays shown in today's broadcast, please go to Twitter at MyCalangelo, hashtag BTV. Well, that's going to do it for this month's news report. I'm Emily ZK. And I'm Gabriel Guerra. Button up, keep wearing those masks, and keep sporting a positive attitude. We'll see you next month. Thanks for watching.